Good day and welcome back to the headquarters. Today we're going to talk about interpolation. Okay, and the reason I want to bring this one up, it's kind of tricky too, because this one won't really be, this formula won't be in your handbook of constants and formula. Um, it's, it's kind of a confusing formula to remember, but we'll go through it in a way such that you'll understand it. Okay, so it typically, deems with, it typically deals with steam tables and you will be given a certain amount of things. For example, you'll be given, let's say, pressure. KPA, this will be table one in your steam tables. And you'll also be given a bunch of, let's say, let's go HF, uh, enthalpy of a saturated fluid, and that will be uh, kilojoules per kilogram. Let's say you're given, you're not given every pressure you want, right? That's, that's the reason we need to interpolate. So we're given 100, 100, 125, 150, and we've got to linearly interpolate in between those. So for 100, if you look in, you'll see 417.46. If you look it up for 125 kPa, you will see 444.32. So often you'll be asked, okay, what is the enthalpy for, uh, let's say 121 kPa? Okay, now basically we know we're in between here. We'll get an answer that's close to, well, we're most of the way to the 125. We'll get an answer that's close to 444. I'll show you guys how to figure this out. So this formula is kind of hard to remember, but the, a nice easy way of remembering it for me anyways is you basically want the equation of a straight line. Now, this one goes when a graph is pretty close to so y and x, and we always call this the intercept when it when it um, where the axis where the equation of the line crosses the zero axis. So, to write this in more descriptive terms because we're not at zero we need to change it a little bit it's still the slope we need to go x minus x naught so if we draw our line this is y naught x naught y1 and x1 okay x Oops, I bombed that for you guys. Hold on one second. Bloop, easy enough. Okay, then we will go plus y naught. Okay, so that's our formula. So we're basically mx plus b. We just need to know that we're y naught and x naught in there. Those are the only changes. So if we look at what we want to do in this situation, this is our variable and this is the answer we want to get. So our graph would look like this. H F at 121 kPa and P at 121 kPa. Our straight lines like this. We have an H F naught and a P naught. Here we have a H, F1, and a P1. Okay, so I think you can see that our formula will be, let's scroll down, give ourselves some room. If 
So our formula in this case will be Okay, originally we had y equals x minus x naught, so mx plus b, in this case is y naught. So our formula will change to hf, which we want to determine at 121 kPa, equals our slope times our x's are our p's. Oops. So we've got the P we want to determine, which is 121 kPa, minus our P naught, which is, um, in our case, let's scroll up see what that is, that's 100. So we're in between 100 and 125. Okay, so our P naught is 100. Plus our Y naught which is 417.46. Oh, we'll just do our H, F, naught. I'll take every step here. I want to make sure you guys understand this very clearly. Okay, so our slope is our rise over our run, right? In our case, which will be our rise is HF1 minus HF0. So our HF1, in this case, is the pressure at 125 minus our HF0, which is our pressure at 100. And our run is P at 125 minus P at 100. And P121 minus P100, easy enough, plus our HF0, which is our, our beginning, which is H at 100. So let's stuff some numbers in here. Our HF at 125 is 440. 4.32 minus our HF naught or our HF at 100, which is 417. Point, yeah, point 0.46. These are kilojoules per kilogram. I always write my units or I screw it up. All over 125 kPa minus 100 kPa. <clears throat> times 121 kPa minus 100 kPa plus our enthalpy at the 100 pressure which is 417.46 all right, handy dandy calculator. Where are you? Right here. Just so you guys know, I do my calculations in reverse polar notation. It's an old um, HP 48 calculator. Four, four, four point. That's why you'll hear me say numbers in a weird way. It just allows me to work with a stack, basically a number of numbers in a nice way. Minus 125, 100, minus divide. 121, 100, minus, times, 417.46, add. So we end up with a number of 440.02 kilojoules per kilogram. This will be on your exam. You will have to know this. The tough part is that formula is not given to you, okay? And again, I'll just summarize. The way to memorize that formula is y equals mx minus x naught plus what we used to call b, which is now y naught. 
then we can get our numbers and we can apply this equation to what we want to know. We're given a pressure and we want to find, we're given a pressure and we want to find an enthalpy. So for us, this is HF in question equals our slope, which is our rise over our run, and our pressure in question minus our original, our lowest pressure plus our HF initial. There you go, gentlemen and gentettes. I hopefully that helps you out. Um, again, as always, feel free to buzz me some questions. I'm always looking for new problems to go over for you guys. Bye-bye.